With almost 500 sessions in Next 2018, it's understandable that you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see advanced protections in G Suite, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. If you're a modern company, then you care about defense against cyber attacks, especially in email. Over the past few years, we've seen an alarming increase in email as the vector for malicious software, identity theft, and other attacks that target your employees. And here at Google, we're no stranger to these risks. Gmail is used by all of our employees, meaning we see all kinds of attacks and have noticed an increased focus on business accounts over consumers. New threats arrive as well, including software to take your company's data hostage unless you pay a ransom. You need better tools and better controls to protect you and your employees, including better blocking, better detection, and customized response options. Which is why G Suite deploys various layers of protection for your company's Google accounts. To stop phishing, we train our models on your feedback and we'll delay suspicious emails to do even deeper analysis. We also pop up a warning if you visit a link that looks suspicious so we can stop someone from logging in to an unsafe site. In addition, we frequently see impersonation attacks where an email looks like it's coming from one of your coworkers attempting to convince you to download an attachment or share information. To prevent this, we'll attach a warning in the email noting that this name resembles someone in your organization, but it's not in your domain. We also allow G Suite administrators to detect password reuse with a tool called Password Alert, which we use at Google too. This can stop passwords from being phished as well as account compromise when people reuse one password across multiple sites. And let's not forget about multi-factor authentication, a stronger method of logging in than just passwords alone. But a code-based second factor, such as a six-digit number on your phone or key fob, continues to be vulnerable to an attacker who can impersonate a valid login page. Instead, we prefer security keys, which will not give the necessary login codes to fake sites. These cryptographic second factors create stronger protections and every employee at Google uses them each day. All of this comes together to help prevent phishing attacks, which have been consistently growing more varied and sophisticated. We've seen a rise of phishing apps too, using web applications, trying to get access to your data through cloud APIs. With G Suite, we give administrators the ability to control which applications can get API access to G Suite data and help you stop employees from granting access to others so you can make sure your important information stays safe and sound. But we need to remember that even in the best of times, people make honest mistakes. With data loss prevention controls, administrators can proactively stop data leaks by stripping sensitive data out of emails or documents before they go out to others. So social security numbers or credit card info isn't able to leave your domain. These are just some of the ways G Suite can protect your employees and your company's data. Here at Google, we see a huge number of attacks against our G Suite clients. So we keep evolving our defenses to provide checks and filters at all stages of the email pipeline. Starting even before delivery to the moment you click on a link or attachment, we keep watch to keep you safe. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching. <laughs>